Namaste, I am Dr. Janardana Vihebar. Welcome to easyayurveda.com. Today let us learn about an important Ayurveda medicine for the treatment of epilepsy called Smriti Sagara Rasa. It is an Ayurvedic medicine in tablet form used primarily for the treatment of epilepsy. This medicine should only be taken under the strict advice of your Ayurvedic doctor. Let us learn about the uses of Smriti Sagara Rasa. It is used for the treatment of epilepsy, memory loss, neuropathy, trigeminal neuralgia and other neurological diseases. It balances Vata, Pitta and Kapha Dosha. Coming to the dose and duration of use of Smriti Sagara Rasa, it can be administered in a dose of 250 to 500 mg in the morning and evening with ghee before or after food or as directed by your Ayurvedic doctor. It can be administered for a period of 2-4 to four months based on your doctor's advice, taking Smriti Sagara Rasa for a long period of time. In conditions such as epilepsy, dementia and sleeping problems, this medicine might be required for a long term duration, typically lasting for 3-4 to four months. If your doctor has prescribed it for long term use, there is no issue in continuing this medicine for long term also. However, watch uh, for the symptoms like nervousness, anxiety, irritability, mood changes, numbness, tremors, vomiting, muscle weakness, metallic taste in the mouth, difficulty in walking, changes in vision, speech problems, etc. If these symptoms increase day by day, then it is best to take the advice of your Ayurvedic doctor again for the use of Smriti Sagar Ras. Its original Sanskrit verse is as below. Sagandha Katala Naam Sashila Tamra Bhasma Naam Shuddha Naam Murchita Naam Cha Churnam Bhavyam Vacha Shrutaihi Eka Vimshati Dhapaschat Brahmi Vara Tathai Vacha Katabhi Bija Thailena Bhava Yede Kavarakam Smriti Sagara Namayam Raso Pasmara Nashanaha Sarpisha Masha Matroyam Bhukto Hanyada Pasmritim Its reference is from Yoga Ratnakara textbook. It is found in the chapter of Apasmara Chikisa, that is, treatment for epilepsy. Its ingredients are Shuddha Parada, Shuddha Gandaka, Shuddha Haratala, Shuddha Manashila, Tamra Bhasma, Pacha, Brahmi, and Jyotishmati Taila. The manufacturing of Smriti Sagara Rasa, first Kajali is prepared with Shuddha Parada and Shuddha Gandaka. Then the rest of the ingredients are added and ground with decoction of Vacha and juice extract of Brahmi for 20 times each. This process of grinding the metallic powders with herbal liquids till the liquid totally dries up is called as Bhavana in Rasa Shastra. After grinding it with vacha, decoction and brahmi swarasa, it is again ground for one last time with the oil of Jyotishmati which is famous as Malkanguni Tail. After grinding, its pills are prepared. Traditionally, its dose is mentioned as one masha and it is to be taken along with ghee. When it comes to the diet to follow, it is recommended to include ghee, coconut oil, sunflower seed, almond, taro root, flaxseed oil, soybean, pistachio, broccoli, carrots, nuts, papaya, pumpkin, red pepper, flax seeds, walnut, tofu, brussels sprouts, cauliflower, winter squash, fish oil, egg oil or krill oil, chia seeds, camellia, etc. These ingredients are fine to take while taking Smriti Sagara Rasa. On the other hand, while there are no strict diet restrictions advised. However, it is still advised to avoid consuming all types of junk foods, excessive non-vegetarian foods uh, and try to avoid or limit alcohol or smoking and also avoid aerated drinks. Next, reference of this is found in uh, a Yoga Ratnakara textbook in Ap Apasmara Chikitsa chapter. It is manufactured by Bhaidyanath, Dabar, Shri Dhut Papeshwar Limited, etc. Ayurvedic Pharma companies. Coming to its side effects, self-medication with this medicine can be dangerous. And take this medicine in precise doses 
and for a limited period of time only as advised by your doctor. Seek your doctor's advice for its usage during pregnancy, lactation and for its usage in children. Next is, is this medicine habit forming? Does it increase dependence? Can we stop it after a few months of usage? This medicine is not habit forming. Follow your doctor's instructions for gradual decrease of the dose and stopping. Usually it does not cause any ill effects. At Easy Ayurveda, we offer various resources to help you learn Ayurveda including video courses on diabetes, cardiac disorders, marma therapy, Ayurveda video classes, books, ebooks, etc. For further information, please refer to the video description section below this video. Now, you can consult us directly at Easy Ayurveda Hospital in Mangalore, Karnataka. All details are provided below this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Namaste.